People with a shattered assemblage point, also known as a mental disorder such as schizophrenia, often see themselves as some sort of extraordinary figure, from Christ to Napoleon, who has to save the world. Is this a distortion of their perception and interpretation, or is there a rational grain in it all? It is both of these things, dear colleague. Very good and interesting question. Indeed, sometimes when you look at such a consciousness, you think that person is totally crazy, but if you look from the other side, you might think that he's not crazy at all, that you're the one who's out of your mind and he's just a genius. After all, it is not for nothing that there is so much information about various geniuses, past and present, who suffered from schizophrenia. Maybe there's something to it after all, but let me tell you something. The consciousness of each person is capable of capturing currents of information coming from a source. The consciousness of an average person usually grasps this current to a very small extent, usually only in dreams. And the ability to see prophetic dreams from time to time is the maximum he can expect. But usually even this does not happen, because this very subtle informational current is either absorbed by the religious matrix, or simply erased and destroyed along the way. But there are some consciousnesses that are expanded from the very beginning. What might be the reason for this? It may be an innate quality, it may be a consequence of some stress that a person has experienced at some stage of his life, and as a result, his consciousness has expanded, but for some reason, it has not yet narrowed back. Somehow the egregorial system didn't notice this, it didn't bring him down to earth, it left him with the crown chakra open. This current enters a person not just once, but all the time, which means that all the time these energetic and informational impulses are rebuilding the neural connections in his consciousness, and they do it in a very specific way, in a way that makes him completely different from an average person. He begins to see what others do not see, to hear what others do not hear. He develops a split personality. He forms and cultivates certain sub-personalities within himself, which he is able to distinguish from each other. So this kind of consciousness has a wide variety of possibilities, and of course most of the people in the reality that we live in don't have these characteristics. And this difference is so great, and his threat to himself because of his way of thinking is so frightening, that a diagnosis of schizophrenia is quite justified and generally quite plausible. But that's only because we're talking about the standards of consciousness of most modern people. If we look back three to four thousand years ago, for example, we will see that more than half of the population had such a personality disorder. They all lived in this way, in a split state of consciousness, in full unity with nature and gods. They thought a little differently and formed their beliefs about the world in a different way. So what we now call schizophrenia was then called something else, divine inspiration, or something like that. But where do these effects come from? Why are there so many Napoleons and Christs? The thing is that this current of information, a massive current of information that penetrates all the subtle bodies of a person, gets stuck in his mental body, which is usually very poor. Because when a person's mental body is very highly developed, there are many characters living there, not just Napoleon and Jesus Christ. If a person is educated, if he is familiar with a large number of literary, mythological, and historical archetypes, they will be present in large numbers in his mental body, and therefore he won't call himself so primitive. 
Such a person will form many separate personalities combining different archetypes, and they will be completely unrecognizable to an average person. But if there are only a few such characters in a person's mental body, if his education is practically zero, then when this current reaches his mental body and tries to find its reflection there, to find something similar to itself, it can only find two puppets and three cripples. Because a person has read two books in his whole life, a primary school history book and the Bible, and he can only use the characters that he found there, that's why such effects happen. If you take an interest in this subject, if you read some of the literature on mental disorders, for example, you will see that a manifestation of schizophrenia such as you have described usually refers to people who are poorly educated and ignorant. Whereas people who are highly educated and spiritually developed will amaze you with their fantasies. And you will never find the personality of Napoleon or Christ there. I hope I have answered your question, colleague.